hey guys welcome to ss unitech so see this side and today we are going to see about the templates in azure data factory so what are the templates so an azure data factory pipelines template is pre that provide you the ability to create a specific workflow quickly without a need to spend time on designing and developing the pipeline using an existing template gallery that contains data copy template external activities template data transformation templates ssis template or your custom pipeline template using templates will save your time and effort that you need to perform repeated provisioning for and any resource the small applied to create the data factory pipeline repeatedly and quickly without the need to think about the pipeline design each time you provision the same logic so basically the templates we have some predefined adf pipelines we could say and we can utilize those pipeline as per our requirement so we are not think how we can design the pipeline or how we can develop the pipeline what logic we are required to write inside those so those are predefined already written inside those templates we can use those template so in this video i am going to use one of the template so first let me try to understand the requirement so the requirement is we just want to move all these files from here like in this input folder of this blob storage to the output folder of this so as of now in the output folder we don't have any file but in the input folder total we are having six file like the customer json customer details and all these six files we want to move from here to there so how we can do that so similarly we can go here either we can write a pipeline and after that we need to write the logic to move the file then we can delete the file from here so such type of logic we have to write but if you can go inside the home tab of this then we can scroll a little bit downside here we can see the option for the pipeline templates so as we can see the category so we have all these categories like the copy or the data flow or the transform so all these categories are available we can filter out the pipelines by using the category next are the tag so here we can see the tags so we can also filter out by using the tags similarly for the services we can also filter out for the services level so the requirement we want to move the file from one location to another location so let me try to here filter out for move the file so this is the predefined template of the pipeline available so we can select that one which is the move file let me try to click on continue so it is going to continue here we can see it is asking for the link service so link service is asking because on which location the file is available and where we want to move the file so as we have already created the ssu testing so we can select that one another link service we can see the ssu testing so we can select that one so we have already selected the link service here now let me use this template and then we will see so here everything is ready we are not required to do anything everything is ready and we are just execute this pipeline and we'll see whether move the files from one location to another or not so if we can see here then first we can see the get file list so this is the get metadata activity we have already seen in detail on this so it will be going to get all the file names from which location like here is the data set so this data set is asking two parameters so we can use these two parameters so it will get all the file names from there let me close and let me cancel and go back to here now next it is going to filter the file so here we can see we have the filter condition on the child items next in the for each loop here first we are just copy a file and then deleting the file so this is already written we are not required to do anything let me just try to debug it and we'll see so it is asking source store location source store directory then destination store location and destination store directory so like here we can see we are only having this input folder nothing else we don't have any directory all the files is available under this so simply here 
we can specify location as input here we can specify the location as output so we want to move the files from input location to output location if we are having subfolders here then on this directory we can specify those folders but in my case i don't have let me try to click on ok so it will start execution so once it will be completed all the files should be moved from one location to another that is from input to output so this is in progress as we could see here the get file list which is the get metadata activity is in progress that is done filter is also done here we can see the copy a file is in progress so it is executing so copy is completed now delete is in progress so let me quickly go here if you can refresh this then we should not see any data because all the files should be moved into the output location because this is completed we can see and verify like all delete is completed and everything is completed let me go quickly into the output folder previously remember we did not have any file so we can see all the files is available into the output folder so this is one of the template which is available inside the azure data factory so we are having multiple other templates as well so you can choose as per your requirement so this is all about the templates so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video